Now this message is for people that become therapy for other people. There's three T's, my friend. There are three T's. You got a tongue. Hey Amen. You got treasure. And you got trash. The tongue created two things. The tongue can be for a treasure or a tongue can be for trash. Because the Bible says life and death in the power of the tongue and they that love the fruit thereof. The book of James talk about your tongue it's like a snake. Amen. Your tongue. Amen. We can we can we can bridle everything, but we can't bridle the tongue. What you saying, preacher? I'm saying there are a lot of people, amen, that talk to other people, and you become a trash rather than being a treasure to them. Sometime, amen, or all the time, you should be able to rebuke people in love. Because the Bible say, open rebuke is better than secret love. What you saying? I'm saying to somebody that comes to you and stays on the phone for at least seven hours and talking bad about a person. Now you become a trash can. Because we, when you become a trash can, you are a person that be manipulated and dumped by their trash. Because if a person, see, every, see everybody has flaws in their life. We are not perfect. They, the Bible says there's no perfect man upon the earth. So, example, you go to a therapy. A therapy will tell you what's going on. You tell them, hey, glory to God, what's going on in your life. Amen. And you tell them, and, and sooner or later they'll tell you, and yes, they say, they say come back. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a sign up some, some pill for you to take, and you take no pill, and you're supposed to relax. But, but some people that stays on the phone and dump all their trash on you, you become a trash can. And the reason why you become a trash can, because you're not telling the person the truth. Amen. Hey, glory to God. You are listening to their junk. You are listening to their trash. So you become a human trash can. And I'm making this message to people, hey, glory to God, get depressed and oppressed and depressed by people problems. Amen. Example, let me give a prime example. You know a person, hey, glory to God, and you know the person, glory to God, well. And the other person know the person in a negative way. And you be the person on the other side of the phone, you listen to all this junk. You listen to all this trash, and you become a human trash can rather than being a treasure to that person. Because the Bible say, my friend, Hey, glory to God. Every idle word is going to give an account in judgment. Amen. And that's what the Bible says. Let your conversation be yay, yay, and nay, nay, whatever come most evil. So my question to you is, are you a trash can or are you a treasure for God? Now, let me say, are you a treasure for, are you a treasure for God or are you a trash can for people? Because if you are a trash can for people, People can get you so so depressed that you can't sleep. Hallelujah! And then you be able to you be able to lie huh, on a person that you love. Now I'm gonna tell you something, my friend. Uh, if you if you're not careful, you start carrying the the spirit of that person to the other person and hate the other person that you're supposed to love. And that come that come from you being a trash can. Trash can is made to be dumped. But treasure is made to edify. That's why that's why the Bible talk about how Bartholomew was, was an encourager. And a lot of people don't encourage people. They carry the burden of the person that put the burden on you. Rather than you shake yourself, hey, glory to God, and tell that person, no, you can't talk bad about this person because this person, my friend, I have relationship with that person. And I'm going to say this, my friend. Amen. I have seven children. Yes, I have seven children and I love all my seven children, but I can't say, I can't say whether they love me. Amen. I can't say whether, hey, glory to God, they appreciate me. I can't say whether, glory to God, if I die, hey, glory to God, I wonder what the, would the eulogy 
be about their dad. Now I can say, my friend, I wasn't, I wasn't a good dad. Yes, I can tell you I wasn't a good dad. And then excuse my friend, because as I was growing up, I was, I was, if you can know that I was, I was like Tarzan. I was born in the jungle. I didn't have no mother. I didn't have no father. I was raised by my my step grandmother and my father, which was a white man. And all through my years, my friend, from three to thirteen, I've been I've been independent. So I didn't know I didn't know what love is until I get to know who Jesus is. Jesus Christ say, when your mother and your father forsake you, the Lord will take you up. So what I'm saying to somebody that listen to this message. Don't be a trash can, be a treasure. Because a trash can, if you if you take other people dumps, hey man, you're gonna be depressed, you're gonna be oppressed, and you're gonna be glory to God, hallelujah, de be depressed by demonic forces. Because the Bible said the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus come that we may have life and may have it more. Hallelujah abundantly. So I mentioned before, my friend, this tongue right there, here, they say sticks and bones may never hurt us a lie. Sticks, hallelujah, can hurt you. Words can damn you. The Bible says, my friend, the bun of the heart, the mouth speaketh. The Bible says, life and death in the power of the tongue. The Bible says, my friend, by thy word thou art justified, and by thy word thou art condemned. So what I'm saying to you that's listen to me. Don't be a trash can. Because if you be a trash can, people dumping their, their negativity in your spirit and you find yourself failing because you listen to people junk. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, if you, if, you, if you don't believe me, my friend, if you don't believe me, hallelujah, words are spirit. Jesus Christ say, uh, what Jesus Christ say? Jesus Christ said, my words are spirit and they are life. So words become a spirit, hallelujah, and people that hate another person, my friend, hey, glory to God, you listen to them long enough, you start hating the person that you both have a good relationship with. It's like, hallelujah, let's, let's talk about, let's go into high school. It's like a person hey, don't, can't, that can't stand another person. And you listen to that person and you, you, don't have, you don't have bad relationship with a person, but you keep on listening to that person that talk about this other person. You find yourself hating the person because the other person that, that jump all, dump all the dumps on you, you start hating them because the person hate them. What I'm saying to you, my friend, I've been, I've been married for over 33 years. And one regret I regret, my friend, is being in, in the long family. It's being in this family that hates me. And it all starts from one person that spread poison upon me. So my friend, oh, glory to God. And this thing been going on for 38 years. Yes, 38 years. Because I was dating my wife for five years. And now I'm, I'm married for 33 years. So it's 38 years that's been going on. And it's so bad that this person poisoned my, my kids against me. Yes, I said they poison, hallelujah, my kids, not all of them, hey, glory to God, because some of my, half of my kids, my friend, they, hallelujah, they were, they were rebuke her, and they will say, I don't mean no harm, but that's this, this is my dad you're talking about, but the rest of them, my friend, they like trash can. They, they, they were, they were, they were stay on the phone. Hallelujah. You, you talking negativity about your dad. And I'm saying to you, my friend, you become a trash can to this person that jumping the trash upon you. Now I'm going to say this. They go to God. They no perfect man or perfect woman upon this earth. The Bible said we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But I'm saying this, my friend, that there are people that, that sin and stay in sin. And people that sin get out of sin and ask God forgiveness. But there are some people that hold people sin, act like they, they, are, they are so perfect, act like they never sin in their life. But come on now, let's go back to your past. Your past means that you've you never been married. Oh, glory to God. All your children are bastards. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I can say that my children are not bastard. My children, hey, glory to God, have a father and a mother, hey, glory to God, that been married. 
So my children are not bastard, but your children are bastard. Oh, glory to God. So I'm saying to you, don't be a dumpster. Be a treasure for God. A treasure for God is, the Bible said, open rebuke is better than secret love. And somebody know, glory to God, can stand somebody. Don't be the person that say amen. And you start hating the person that you don't even know of. My friend, don't be partaker of people that dumping their trash on you. Because life and death in the power of the tongue. Oh, glory to God. I'm saying this, my friend. Hey, glory. Every other word, God going to judge you. And I say that, if you look at the book of James, the book of James, the book of James say that how this tongue can no man tame it. But to be tame, you got to learn to hold your peace. You got to learn to rebuke people and say, I'm not going to accept this junk you've been put on me. Are you a are you a trash can or are you a treasure? Amen. And let's say a treasure is a person that take other people junk because that person can't stand the other person. So they stand on the phone for seven hours talking about a, a, neg a person negativity and you become a trash can. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't be a trash can. Be a treasure. Be able to say, no, I'm not going to I'm not accept what you're saying about this person because I know this person. You might have negativity about this person, but I'm not going to accept your junk from this person, my friend, hallelujah, don't be partaker of people that spread lies on a person. Be the better person by saying, I'm a bless this person, I'm a pray for this person, I'm encourage this person, I'm a keep in my prayer. Hallelujah. But if you're a junk, if you're a, if you're a dumpster now, if you're a junk, if you're a trash can, you accept everything this person say about this person. Don't be a trash can, be a treasure for God. And that's it, my friend. God bless you.